Hello my friends. Thank you for being with me. Today I'm going to tell you about one of the greatest rulers of ancient Egypt, Thutmose III. He was the sixth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty, which was the most powerful and wealthy period in Egyptian history. He expanded the Egyptian empire from Syria to Sudan and built many temples and monuments. So, who was this extraordinary pharaoh and how did he achieve so much? Let's find out together. Thutmose III was the sixth pharaoh of the 18th dynasty and one of the greatest rulers of ancient Egypt. His father was Thutmose II, and his mother was one of his secondary wives or a minor harem queen named Isis. He ascended to the throne when he was very young, after his father died early. However, his aunt and stepmother Hatshepsut, who was the regent of the throne, declared herself king in his seventh year and overshadowed Thutmose III. Hatshepsut ruled Egypt alone and had many works done. For example, she had a great temple built for herself at Deir el-Bari and organized a trade expedition to the land of Punt. After Hatshepsut's death, Thutmose III became the sole ruler and brought the Egyptian empire to its peak. Thutmose III was known as a military genius. After he came to power, he first suppressed the rebellious cities in Syria. He encountered a state called Mitanni during this process. Mitanni was Egypt's rival in Syria and supported the rebellious cities. Thutmose III defeated Mitanni by organizing 17 military campaigns. The most important of these campaigns was the Battle of Megiddo. In this battle, Thutmose III besieged and won a great victory over the Syrian cities allied with Mitanni. With this victory, Egypt took control of all of Syria and advanced to the Euphrates River. Thutmose III also conquered Nubia and went as far as Napata in Sudan. Thus, Egypt became a great empire in Africa and Asia. Thutmose III was not only a warrior, but also a lover of art and construction. He increased Egypt's wealth with the spoils he obtained from his campaigns and used this wealth to build temples and monuments. He made great contributions to the Temple of Amon at Karnak. He had a huge columned hall, a festival hall and many statues built there. He also had temples built in Nubia. The most famous of these is the Kama Temple at Semna. Thutmose III also had Egypt's first seaport built on Pharos Island to improve Egypt's trade. Thutmose III also tried to spread Egyptian culture. He established the cult of Egyptian gods in the lands he conquered and taught the local people Egyptian language and writing. He was also influenced by other cultures and brought their art, music and plants to Egypt. Thutmose III was also interested in science and astronomy. He recorded the movements of the stars in the sky and improved the calendar system. Thutmose III founded Egypt's largest library and patronized many scholars and priests.
Thutmose III died in 1425 BC at the age of 56. The cause of death is unknown. Before he died, he appointed his son and heir Amenhotep II as his co-king for two years. Thutmose III was buried in KV-34 tomb in the Valley of the Kings. His tomb was decorated with many wall paintings and inscriptions. However, his tomb was later looted and his mummy was damaged. Thutmose III is remembered as one of the greatest rulers of ancient Egypt. He made Egypt live its golden age with his campaigns and works he built. Some historians called him Napoleon of ancient Egypt. Thutmose III's story still impresses people today. He is regarded by many historians as one of the most successful and influential rulers of ancient Egypt. Friends, our video about Thutmose III ends here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments. Don't forget to write down which biography you want in the next video. See you goodbye.